Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Excel function SUMIF. Um, so as usual, I will give you the final file with all the formulas and all the examples. It's going to be right below the video, there's going to be a link for you. So you can go ahead, download it right now and follow with me with all the final examples. So what, uh, in which case will we use the function SUMIF is to sum some values, but not all values, only the values that meet um, some condition that we uh, um, that uh, that is of interest to us. So, for example, let's say that I want to uh, here have a list of all the employees in my company uh, and three teams A, B, C, their salary. Let's say I want to know um, how many uh, how much I pay to the team A each year. Uh, so basically, I want to sum only the the salary of team A. So uh, salary, salary, re of uh, team A. So salary of team A. I'm going to use sum, sum if, um, and I'm going to take this range, which should be able, should be um, should meet the criteria A. And if it's if I found the value a in my um, in my column, in that case I will sum the value that is in the range in this range salary. Okay, so three parameters. First, where you meet the condition, the value that you must uh, find, and then the value that you must sum. Okay, and it's going to tell me. Uh, I'm going to put this in dollars. That I pay seven hundred and uh, seven hundred thousand a year. What I'm going to do to make it simple, I'm going to sort this. So data, uh, data sort, sort based by a team. Okay, and so the salary of team A. If I sum all of this, seven hundred and nine thousand. So that's correct. Salary of team A. Another um, another way we can use uh, the um, the function uh, the function sum if is we can make some uh, more complicated criteria. So, for example, what I could do uh, here, I could sum uh, sum uh, sum if salary sum of if it's six, six figures for example so if it's uh, bigger than a uh, hundred thousand uh, so here I'm going to uh, to sort it uh, for the salary uh, from the largest to the smallest okay uh, and in that case I'm going to say sum if uh, if that range and the criteria it should be so here I can construct a more complicated criteria if it's greater or equal than a uh, hundred thousand yep like this uh, and in that case I don't have to I'm going to sum the, the same column so I don't have to specify another time that I'm going to um, to sum, uh, to sum this column, you know, I just have to specify it once. And in that case, I can, so I'm going to put the format, the same format each time. In that case, it's going to tell me this amount and I'm going to check, to double check this value here, 900, 968. So that's correct. Basically, I can sum, uh, so in, in this, uh, what's interesting in this formula is basically I can sum on uh, when the value to sum and the criteria are in the same column. And in that case, I just have to specify it once. And also I can construct um, compli uh, not complicated, but uh, a more um, uh, a more complex like criteria, uh, which is going to be here. I want it to be not necessarily equal to a value that I know in advance. I can just specify that I want to be I want it to be greater than a hundred thousand. We could use lesser than a hundred thousand or different than something. Um, you can uh, 
use any operator here. Um, and that gives us a more complicated, uh, I mean, a more uh, elaborate um, way to some uh, subset of our data. Uh, so don't forget to download the file right below the video. I'm going to give you the file with all the examples so you can play around it and test, uh, you know, test, uh, test different other options. And I will see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll be notified when I publish. See you tomorrow, champions. Ciao.